Hello and welcome back. Remember this, this was our model of a contour loop. And now we're going to calculate a little bit with it. Okay. First of all, we're calculating something where we don't know how sensible or useful this is. But you will see, it's pretty useful. Yeah. So let's move this up. Here we go. For us, it should look like this. Yeah. We opened the back loop. This is open now. Okay. And we want to know how W is influencing X. What you see, plus, here's nothing coming in, minus nothing, so this must also be W. Here, Y from S. So, I would simply write it out. There is W from S. minus zero, so x from d, x from d is w from s. Now we're going to transfer this by the transfer function of the regulator. This means y from s is fr from S multiplied by W from S. I will assume that there's no disturbance. Yeah. What is X from S? X from S is Y from S multiplied by FS from S. So it's FS from S yeah, multiplied by FR from S. The transfer function of the system multiplied by the transfer function from the regulator okay. multiplied by W from S and so we now know what the complete transfer function is and this is called FO why I tell you this is FR multiplied by fs. Okay. So x from s is fo from s multiplied by w from s. If we do have open loop and this is exactly why this is o. Yeah? So this is the open loop transfer function open loop transfer function now you might want to know hey how much sense how sensible is this how meaningful is this well see it's quite meaningful we will use this sometimes but now let's take a look at the at the closed loop transfer function also from w to x we will not take into account this z okay let's do this together so in this case xd from s is w from s minus x from s this. Okay. now y from s is xd multiplied by fr so it's fr multiplied by w minus x okay and now x is y multiplied by fs so this is actually fr multiplied by fs 
multiplied by w minus x. Okay, so I have w and x in my formula, and if I want to get the complete transfer function, I have to separate these variables. So I am simply, I'm going to simply do this. Yeah. X from S equals FR from S multiplied by FS from S multiplied by W yeah, minus FR from S multiplied by FS from S multiplied by X from S. Now I'll bring this to the other side. So there is actually written X from S plus X from S multiplied by FR from S multiplied by FS from S. And this equals this now brought to the other side. And this equals FR from S, FS from S multiplied by W from S. Now I'll make here this extraction of FS yeah, multiplied by 1 plus FR from S multiplied by FS from S equals, I just turn a little bit, Okay, now I just have to get this to the other side. So actually there's written XS equals W multiplied by FR FS divided 1 plus FR. Okay, now remember the open loop, mm -hmm. this was the open loop transfer function, so actually our transfer function for transferring the reference variable to the, to the uh, controlled variable, I will call this FW yeah, because we are transferring this FW from S equals it's exactly this FR from S multiplied by FS from S divided by 1 plus FR from S multiplied by FS from S That's the transfer function. That's the transfer function for W to X. Führungsübertragungsfunktion. Reference variable transfer function. Actually, this is FO from S divided by 1 plus FO from S. See? This is very useful this FO to have right in shorter. So this is the in German it's the Führungsübertragungsfunktion. In English in English is the reference variable transfer function or the lead transfer function. Uh, good. Write it down. Uh, on the opposite side. FW is FO from S divided by 1 plus FO from S. This is the 
reference variable transfer function Führungsübertragungsfunktion okay. Now we're going to have a look how disturbances are transferred Let's make it that way this time we are not taking into account W we're simply not taking it into account so our XD from S is nothing else than X from S Oh, this is not green. Huh. Our y from s is x from s. This time I'll make it green. It's not green. Ah, this is why you I used the wrong cap. This is <laughs> x from s. Yeah, x d from s multiplied by fr from s and here I add z yeah? so actually what I got out here yeah, is y from s plus z from s this is here And this multiplied by fs this is x x from s now I just substitute this here to here so actually what is written is x from s equals here we are fr from s uh, fs from s this is this one multiplied by a big bracket and now x from s multi this is this multiplied by fr this plus z This is this formula. This I now going to multiply it, multiply inside. So x from s equals x from s multiplied by fr from s multiplied this in fs from s plus and here we have z from s multiplied by fs from s get this to the other side again I made a little mistake because x from t is actually minus x yeah, because it's minus this means here we do have minus this means here we do have minus. This means here we do have minus. Okay, I hope you can follow me. I forgot this minus here. Bring this to the other side. Then it's written x from s plus x from s multiplied by these parts here. fr from s multiplied by fs from s. Yeah. This to the other side. And now equals z from s multiplied by fs from s. Now I move this out, I get this out. xs multiplied by bracket 1 plus fr fs. This equals z 
multiplied by fs. Now dividing, just dividing, that's the last thing we have to do, xs equals zs multiplied fs divided by 1 plus fr fs. Okay. Here we again have the transfer function of the open loop okay. and this is the transfer function how z is influencing x. So, the transfer function for disturbances, the disturbed transfer function fz, is fs from s divided by 1 plus fr from s multiplied by fs from s. And this is nothing more than fs from s divided by 1 plus fo from s. Okay. This is the disturbance transfer function. Störungsübertragungsfunktion in German. Okay. Disturbance transfer function. I will also note it here. Fz from S is Fs from S divided by 1 plus F O from S. This is the disturbance transfer function. These are the transfer functions we are going to use. Get this away. These are the transfer functions we are going to use. Störungsübertragungsfunktion, Führungsübertragungsfunktion, Übertragungsfunktion der, Ober der offenen Regelschleife, Open Loop Transfer Function, Reference Variable Transfer Function, Disturbance Transfer Function. Now let's think a little bit what we want. Let's think a moment, hey, how should they be? This, we really don't care. The open loop transfer function, we absolutely do not care what this should be. However, wanted for the reference variable transfer function, eh? preferable, this should be one. This is ideal. Eh? This would be ideal. Why? Because the regulated, the controlled variable, yeah, this one, the controlled variable, should be exactly the same like this one. If this is changing, this should change immediately with no delay, no delay should there be. So the transfer function from W to X should be one. This would be ideal. If I'm looking, if you're looking to this, something divided by one plus something, can this ever be one? No, of course not. It could only be one if this equals this. This can never be met. So there can never be an ideal reference variable transfer function. This we know now. However, how do we get close to ideal? How do we get close to ideal? If this is rather big, then this is rather big plus one. So it's almost the same. Okay. So to get close, FO from S must be big. Okay? Big values. F O from S must be a big, big value. Then this is almost one. Okay. 
and this is what we want. Now let's have a look on the disturbance transfer function. What do we want? How much of the disturbance here do we want to see in our controlled variable? The answer is simple, nothing. I don't want to see a disturbance in the controlled variable. Okay? So our ideal transfer function for disturbances is zero. How can we met this? Yeah. If there is no control system, if this is zero, yeah, I mean, but you know, then the correcting variable has no influence on the controlled variable at all. Ah, this is not possible. If this is zero, this would be stupid. Yeah. So, can we ever met this? No. Hmm? No. Simply no. It's also not to met. However, if FO is big yeah, and this is not big, this may be small, huh? then we have something small divided by something big, which is very small. Okay. So here we know now that the Fs should be much smaller. than fr. Okay. Why am I writing fr, not fo? Because if s is small, then fr must be big, 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 big to, to have this big. Okay. This means, actually, in total, this means our regulator transfer function shall be big as big as possible. This is what we would read out of this. Yeah. fr from s as big as possible. Hmm. This is the conclusion. This was our model. These were our transfer function, these were the ideal, what we want to have ideal, and to reach this ideal point very close, fr has to be as big as possible. That's it. That's the analysis of our control loop. Next time we want to talk about regulators, different type of regulators. Actually, what we usually have, this is given, there is some control system, and we want to find the regular for this, yeah, the regulator, the controller for this. This is the task of control engineering. Yeah. Next time we are talking about what possibilities do we have here. Yeah. For this time, this beautiful page, I have to say, Thank you for listening and goodbye.